with a bit of a special guest in the chat today, uh, Beanie Undead. Hey there. <laughs> oh, Beanie! Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, just a note, it is, Beanie is in Australia, so uh, it is a bit late over there, about 2 a.m. So, if you, really, if you get too tired, just go to sleep and... <laughs> Uh, anyways, last time, let's see, last cold, time cold, we... Cold, 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 What? Ow! I had to st step my foot on ice that fell on the floor. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah that, that, that caught me up by surprise. Sorry if I got loud there. <laughs> yes, yeah, I was not expecting it. Okay, it's 4 a.m. there, not 2 a.m. <laughs> Why are you still awake, Beanie? Yeah, because he wanted to uh, watch a stream and it's a holidays for him because he's a, a history teacher. Uh, oh. oh. Yeah, but he's not a math teacher because he thought it would be 2 a.m. there. So, yeah, really, if if it if it gets too late there or too early, uh, just go to sleep if you have to. I wouldn't want you hurting yourself over, well, <laughs> watching my dumb ass get kicked uh, around in this game. Yeah, sleep is important. Okay. Now, last time we got to the underwater area and we've got our new power of force slash gravity. And yeah, let's see. We How are we going to hit that? Because I think it's out of our range. So unless we have something we can move around. That is going to be a bit of a dead end. Actually, we also found this little cubbyhole. <laughs> uh, beanie, sleep is for the weak. <laughs> uh, but no sleep also makes you weak. Two. Let's see. Anyways, to give Beanie a bit of a summary of what's been going on, we are playing as one of the four horsemen, or in this case, the only uh, horse woman, uh, Fury here. And let's see. Actually, we, uh, how did we move these things again? It has been a, bum, a few, a bit. I think the hammer. Ah, uh, yeah. There we go. Hammer time. Oh, I see nice. what's all going to happen. And also, don't forget the item behind you. Mm, yeah. yeah. Uh, this one, this Dark Souls game plays a bit more like uh, Dark Souls in yeah having pickups like that. And if we die, we will drop the souls that we have in the lower right corner, which for once with this new overlay, I'm not blocking. And now we can hit that. But yeah, it is a little bit more forgiving in that we do drop them. Um, wait. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, <laughs> Uh, if we die again after having dropped our souls, they don't actually vanish. There we go. Now, let's see. We've already caught like four of the sins so far. Uh, we've caught envy. We, we've got uh, caught an, an ass kicking here. Okay. Uh, I, I, no, I didn't meet the wrong power. That's the Havoc mode, which is kind of our superpower mode. I was more looking for that. Just a, a rat attack. <laughs> Hurting blockers. Okay. Seems that the heavy attacks have been hidden behind holding the attack button down, which is nice to find out, like, five streams in. <laughs> okay. Oh dear, Helium, really? And here is the sword that we were looking for last week. Ooh. And I stand by it that it looks a bit like a glow-in-the-dark Frostmourne. Again, it does not. Okay, so this one is way slimmer compared to that. There we go. Again, my plastic swords looks more like Frostmourne. Do I think? I think those some Halloween swords I have are based on Frostmourne, but they just decided to 
just to make it slight diff extra different for Frostmoon, they decided to add Sauron's eye ball as a power move. Okay. Wait. One. Two. Go. There's one over the door. Oh. <laughs> I'm freaking blind. <laughs> Then again, this my avatar does have I these dreams. Yeah. yeah, the Harris thing is we, we have uh, access to elemental powers. We have uh, we have the base form of fury like this, yep. and then we have fire like this, which makes it look like freaking starfire. <laughs> and we have storm, aka electricity, and force slash gravity. What are the skeletons doing? Oh, oh, boom. <laughs> so those are back. Yep, they're on that champions. And they were pain in the ass already. Oh. For death. And for war. Uh And they're going to remain a pain in the ass for us. Nope. Actually, there we go. That at least cleared out. That at least cleared out the father. Okay. Come on. Yeah, too late. Oop. Come on. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. Late again. Yeah, we really need to break that shield, it seems. We've managed to hurt its health. But... Oh, yeah. It's Wait, early. are you holding the shield? I, I'm not sure if we're hurting the shield or... Yeah, uh, I I think they I think it no it I'm guessing it's just its total health bar, not a separate thing. Okay. Come on. Yeah. At least you're able to harm him through the shield with a hammer. Yeah. Yeah, but the enemies that camp like this are always going to be freaking annoying. Yeah, do I think they it's not too bad and a bit more challenging than the other enemies. Yep. Yeah, use one of these. So, do the other enemies usually try just to gang up on you? Yeah. <laughs> well at least we have the Rast Blast ready for that. Let's uh, see. Oh. There we go. Anything else hidden around here? Oh, hello. What do you do? What the? Ah, there. Okay, now here. Okay. Will flowers grow upside down like that? Hmm. Not sure, actually. The... Uh, mosses will grow on any surface, be they horizontal, vertical, or upside down. I think. Uh, yeah. But flowers, not so much, I think. Hmm. Okay. Uh, uh -oh. Um. Yeah, these things are easy enough. They look. They look. Yeah, one less so. And um, yeah, yeah, you are stuck in the freaking wall. Or spawn, I think. I hope expect Cthulhu to be here. <laughs> well, we fought something that looked a lot like Cthulhu in Dark Souls 2, so I wouldn't be too surprised. Yeah, during that, that in that game, that one was most likely dead. Yeah, yeah, or, or at least undead. Now, let's see. Yeah. We have a pillar to move around here, and some things to destroy over there. So let's turn our magical iron boots back on. 
And just get rid of all of this. There's another pillar. Okay. Am I going to have to make platforms to cross somewhere? There we go. What is that sound? As I'm guessing it's meant I'm guessing it's the water rushing back in the air the place. Okay, but I was wondering yeah. if there's something inside those geodes or whatever the heck those are you're breaking. Okay, move you there. And then get this one in front. And Okay, that sounds normal at least. When you broke the other rocks, it looked so like... It's almost like we're screaming or something. Mm -hmm. uh, just a little jump needed there. Uh, hold on. There we go. Why did you get stuck on there? Anyway. I think you were swinging a bit, a bit of an odd angle. And yeah, nice little detail. If you have the firepower equipped, the flame will actually extinguish if you go into the water. Now, what have we here then? And we turn back on when you get out of the water as well. Yep. Uh, I hope those cans, uh, the power rolls are empty. <laughs> a beanie and your hair changes, yeah. I have to say this one I... Oh, oh there we go. Okay, another Jinso found. Basically, uh, yeah, think. Well, Fury is one of the horsemen of the apocalypse, and you can easily guess what draws one of those out. So, uh, yeah, Earth has gone a bit to shit here, but there are still some human survivors around that we can save. Not because Fury wants to, but because she wants the uh, rewards. That you can get for it. Oh, hello. One of these stupid bugs again. Crab spiders! Uh, yeah. F Fury's entire character arc so far is for her to, uh, in part, be a bit more empathic. Em empathic? Em yeah, empathic is the. How you say it, I think. And yeah, hammer time. <laughs> and here we have Volgram. What would you ask of this humble merchant? Yeah, he's our uh, what are you buying guy in this series. This will be fun for both of us. And yeah, we can feed him souls to get levels. Let's see, empathic. Oh, empathetic, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I've watched too much Star Trek to <laughs> get them too mixed up. Take your time. Let's see, does he have anything new? Still that one. We still don't have much use for this one. And beyond that, it's the same as always. As you wish. <laughs> oh, do make sure they scream, Horseman. Yeah, Volgrim plays a bit of all sides, because all he really cares about is getting fed. Which you think would make him a bit more, less skinny. And no, it's not It's not uh, Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill did voice a character in the first Darksiders. Uh, but I don't know if he's voiced any since. Uh, for now, let's put that point into our strength. And yeah, we have one more of each of these to get. For your sake, I hope you can't smell that. Even a faceless one would find itself intoxicated here. Is there some meaning to this particular scent? Gluttony. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and that was basically our dark Navi flo uh, following us around. <laughs> No, Fury doesn't like her, so she has told her very clearly to shut the hell up most of the time. <laughs> and yeah, does she did seem to obviously. like her a bit? Yeah, since, well, her horse is dead, so she kind of has to have someone to talk to. 
even if she doesn't like them talking back. Yeah, though she seemed to like, like it earlier when they first met, but she was a bit more polite. What the heck? Uh, when she was a bit more of a suck up, you mean, I think. <laughs> yeah. Don't you too to, to, to calm it, tune it down at least a bit. <laughs> and, but those water... Oh yeah, those are water mines. Yep. What? I... They look like they have... Explosive coral inside them. Yeah, I at don't know. Ow. Oh, I think it's good. I think there's some kind of corner that looks like a, for like a better uh, description, a giant hardened brain. Hmm. Jade, I don't particularly see it. Oh, hello. Uh, these things. Yep. Uh -oh. Did that? Okay, I I just saw that in the corner of my eye, but that trash can just popped in there. <laughs> Uh, let's see. That is quite normal off the co off the coast of Australia with the explosive coral. Yeah, we. <laughs> okay. Uh, the reason I'm being cautious here is because these things can sometimes hold enemies that will try to jump us. Like that. And yeah, there's some sort of spider. Yep, that one was not cooked enough. Oh dear. Hmm. And another one of Volgram's little uh, hidey holes. Okay. But they can wait. also hold items. Wait, wait. Here, look around. Yeah. He for once put his hidey spot in actual shop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the owners are probably long dead since this takes place like a century after everything went to hell already. Ah. Yeah, I had a feeling. And oh, that's that's one of the that's one of the star spawn on land over there. And it ran away. Or no, it did not. It's just patrolling or yeah, that's new! Okay. Ah, almost got me. Almost got me. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of glad that Australia does not have spiders this big. Yeah, only half as large. Then again, I sometimes worry and wonder how Australians survive over there, considering how much deadly animals are here on daily basis they have. Uh, I'm guessing mostly by just staying the fuck away from them. <laughs> that sounds like probably the smartest way to, you to do things. Ah, ah, one got me finally. Okay. Um, one more way, way that this game is sort of like Dark Souls is that we have a sort of Estus flask, which is the Nephilim's respite that is visible uh, right above <laughs> or inside of Drakir's head over there. <laughs> Luckily enough, Wait, we can get uh, enemies can sometimes drop charges of it. it <laughs> you just live as long as possible. Uh, did you just tell uh, me you're storing healing flasks on top of my head? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you've been using me as a table. <laughs> you didn't seem to have any complaints about it earlier. Ow. Okay, I'll read. Nope. Uh, one thing I'll. Oh! You can see how annoying these things are with how many out of them just keep popping up here. Uh, let's see. To give you an idea, there's a spider literally the size of my hand in the corner of the room. It's eating a cockroach. Okay, I can't tell if he's actually being serious on that because. Uh, Beanie has rats, but spiders is a new one. If spiders are that big, they probably will eat a rat too. Oh, hello. Something in the distance. Oh, big bug. Okay, these are new. Those, those are spiders. 
let's see. Yeah, eight. Nope. That's six. Yeah, that's, that is eight legs. So that is an arachnid. And actually, yeah, we faced have... one of these before. Yeah, do they have extra limbs as well now? Yeah. Does they have arms as well now here? Yeah, sort of sort of like a drider but the other, the other half is still insectoid as well yeah the, actually can I, can I like Nerubians for world of warcraft and warcraft just more terrifying okay beanie very serious it's a huntsman though i've heard of those things uh, it's ba it is basically our house pest control we call him henry <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. as long as spider is helpful, that's fine. <laughs> and I almost forgot about huntsman spiders. Yeah. Okay, I, now actually, <laughs> my hairs are standing on edge. <laughs> I, I heard of huntsman spiders. However, I did not know they were in Australia. I thought for some reason they were in South America. Uh, luckily, I'm in a country where spiders aren't a big deal. Like, the biggest that we have is, like, uh, thumb size, I think. And I'm guessing we have to freeze all of this for some reason. Uh, I, oh, I think I know why. We can probably shove this around. Uh oh. <laughs> it's all in the wrist, watcher. <laughs> that ends well fury is basically anger incarnate wait ain't those tiny ones from the first game yep all right nice to reuse of assets like i know some people hate when the games reuse assets but I'm okay with it, depending on how. Yeah, we, we've talked about this a bit before. Uh, in general, it is it is understandable to reuse assets, but the, the reason I was more so freaking annoyed with that one uh, particular on that uh, angel enemy is because it was a reskinned boss. So yeah, in general, in a franchise, it is a good idea to speed things up a bit by reusing things, but not... Yeah, not so much. Not something as noticeable as a boss. Yeah, do he, he seems like a much weaker and smaller version compared to the boss. And easier to deal with. Hmm. Um, oh, I see already that the, <laughs> the tracks end here. Uh, let's see. At school last week, I had to stand watch over a bush at launch break because a King Brown was in the garden. 1.5 meters long, all... <laughs> Of the year nines wants to pick it up, and <laughs> we're nuts over here. Okay. Wait. Is that a snake or? Yeah, I very much doubt it's a spider at one and a half meters long. Now, how do we swap this thing? There, I see a lever over there. I I was glad that they make a and they. Oh gosh, what's that other choice beast called? Uh. I mean, with the name of the mythical creature in Australia, it is, may have spawned the myth of it, a Quaycana? Basically a crocodile that loves to run on land. Hmm. Can't say it rings any bells for me. Uh, Let's see. It's, I think it's a recent discovery. I think it died around the same time as the Megalania. Around 10, 10k. Basically, okay. a original in Australia had to face it. Right, that was just for a pickup. And uh, yeah, I don't think see. Australia wants a. Oh, I think it was around a 14 or 20 meter long crocodile running across the plains and attacking cows. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what is the strength chart? Let's see. Converse strength of will into offensive might. Okay, I I was thinking that might up uh, our strength and, uh, <clears throat> permanently, but no. And yes, from Beanie, yes, a snake. Uh, by the way, you're at 50% health, yeah. <laughs> now, how do I get to that <laughs> bloody lever? Because 
The only way I can see leading in there is through here, but it's blocked off. Hmm. Are we going to have to break something again? If I just shove it forwards again, it's just going to go right back there. We hmm. are missing something then. Oh, yeah. wait. Wait, can you get up on it? Do you see the scaffolding? Yeah, I, we just went there to for the, uh, oh. pick up. Let's see, is there anything I can reach from over there? Let's see. Uh, it's called a Quina uh, Quincana. It's a massive uh, croc that used to live in Australia 40,000 years ago. Contemporary crocs uh, are worse. Uh, I just added in an R there because you kind of forgot to type one in. <laughs> yeah, so I was a bit off with the years then. But it still was around uh, around early humans then. Ah, I see. We have to, uh, yeah, we have to. <laughs> we have to spider wall, yeah, spider ball our way over there. Because the forest has... Uh, the force power has a bit has one more extra aspect to it, similar to the uh, <clears throat> to the charge jump with the flame hollow here. Uh, but that's what the upgrades are called, hollows. As in that, well, we can rock and roll it. Still suspecting some sort of yield. <laughs> like, don't do yields are magnetic. Oh, well, they had to pick something to put, use this with, and might as well put it on the rock power. Okay. Come on, keep moving. And there we go. Oh, I see that. Okay, thank you. Oh, a large cluster. That's nice. Uh, yeah, these, these clusters that we've been picking up, they're basically, uh, yeah, wallets that we can use to uh, get more souls, but... <laughs> basically, we can use them to uh, get, you know, to turn them into souls, but it's, of course, safer to carry them around as items that we don't lose if we get knocked out. Uh, let's see, why are there crystals on the roof? Lore explanation, crystal apocalypse, uh, no real explanation, really. It beats me. Apparently, the result of whatever the demons and angels brought over. Yeah, it could have been third a... factions. Yeah, it could have been some sort of residue from a demonic and angelic clash, because, yeah, for a century now, heaven and hell have been fighting over the planet as well. One way oh. that leads to fights, and another that... Those... Those again. There we go. At the very least, we can easily enough deal with them since, well, we put it on the easiest mode because we kept getting our ass kicked. <laughs> yeah, at least this one has an easy mode compared to the others. Okay, piece of adamantine. That's for upgrading. Uh, yeah, the previous Dark Souls games, even on their lowest difficulty, were rather a pain in the ass still. <laughs> So I do like that they put in a, well, an outright easy mode for people who just want the story. Because even at ba on the, even on the quote-unquote balanced modes, could this be because I suck? But uh, freaking spiders! I still got kicked around enough. And yes, Fury is too haughty to actually use her hands instead of just flicking it with <laughs> magic. What is this way? Okay, I'm Wait. guessing there was a shortcut that we opened. Ow! Should have seen is it coming. That, is that 
the back side of gluttony? I think so, yeah. So let's first take a look Wait. down that other road. Wait, are you, uh, that might not be his backside. That might be his mouth. Uh, shortcut opened. For I'm pretty sure a backside does not have teeth. Yeah, uh, with demons you never know. Okay, yep. Gotcha. Okay. True, but one of the demon of the Apocalypse, I forgot which one, did was depicted to having his face on his arse. <laughs> and he made its way into Rock of Ages. And they made a joke out of it. Yeah, because of course. Because Rock of Ages is just Monty Python meets Pinball. Yeah, it got worse. He had to sneeze. <laughs> See, I'll leave it at one. that. <laughs> up, 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 up. This one looks new. Yeah, the coloring maybe, but we have uh, we have faced something like this already. Up. Okay, pop that. Okay. A large cluster, which is about 1,200. And what have we here? No, oh, Angelic Artifact, that's also for upgrading stuff. And nothing hidden in these. Yep. Just an easy kill. All right, then. Now, how are we going to wake this dumbass up? And now, we're, okay, we're back here. Okay, that means I must hit and uh, wake him up then. It means I drop down for nothing. Actually, were we here before? Let's see, there's that thing. I didn't. Yeah, we've been here before. <laughs> okay. And we have to. Yes, yeah, so we have to backtrack through all of. Uh, at least we opened up a shortcut. Okay. Now let's see. Um, Wait, the same I didn't hmm? Yeah. Sorry, go on, go on. Uh, no, I was, just, I was just going to recount uh, which of the sins we've already got. All right. I also say I started to realize I recognize the pose you're doing when she just jumps with fire. No. Oh. Uh, is it called a human torch? Yeah, there is a Marvel character called that, yeah? Yeah, for all of the Fantastic Four? Oh. It, it looks like they will flame on pose, though I might be wrong. Bit of a loading. Uh, let's see. Beanie, I just you know, tried to host you, however, when I try, some other scrub comes up. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, what do I hit to wake you up? And, yeah, this is a big-ass sin. <laughs> oh, I, I see already how. Wait. Te was this thing this that attacked us earlier him? Yep. Okay, not that then. Uh, we didn't go Wait. out here. Hold on, why did she recognize this was gluttony earlier? I'm not sure. Like she did say that they, they can change a lot over uh, time, and it has been a long time since last she fought them with the other horsemen. Yeah, do we, we should know this is that with the amulet. A small oversight. We've seen a few of those already in throughout this game. Oh. Well, that's obviously a trap. That's a weird pig leg. Uh. 
<laughs> Croissants. Perfectly fake. Mistress, you must awaken. You must come back. Nice cry, but lust already tried that. Gluttony. Mistress! I guess I should have expected so many mouths. Oh, now she is. That was Rampage, her horse. Now she's really going to be pissed off. Yeah, not this composite. It. it was not the squid earlier. I guess the squid earlier was his pet. Uh, likely. Okay, what are you up to now? Okay, just. Bombardment. Ex expected gluttony is gross. Yeah. It is a, to... a new take on it, though. Yeah, like, I get it's gluttony, but bloody heck, it's the most horrifying gluttony as of yet. Uh, ow. Normally they yeah. just make Lotten look like just a fat man with a scary face, but yeah. Yeah, this one hey. is this, this one seems to be going for more than just gluttony for food, but gluttony for well power as well. As ow, ow. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, you are really going at it now. Beanie, I think he's cute. <laughs> you also live in a country filled with deadly spiders and koalas. Okay, that's that's an experience he's going to want to forget. Uh, heal up. Right, so he's doing this again. Uh, let's see, might as well use some of these shards. Not sure what that one will do. Probably cause more damage. Oh. You Ow. use grew spikes of your body, which probably should make you less likely to want to be eaten. Yeah. <laughs> if he played his cards right, he could have me. Uh, throw that out. No. Okay. I thought throwing that in his face would get him to stop. And there we go. Left stick to toggle into sprinting. Okay. Oh dear. Okay, that's something I only now found out. And okay, that was close. <laughs> Good that there's a uh, one of it. Volgrim's spots right there because Volgrim's spots also act as fast travel. Yeah, sure. Enough. Wait, where's the souls? Where's this? Wait, I, I know we, we don't have the souls on us anymore, but where's the node? Uh, must be somewhere. 
Uh, let's see. All right, boys. The sun, sun will be up soon. Better be off to bed. Okay, sleep well. <laughs> he can hear his wife waking up already. Oh dear. Sleep well, Beanie. And best of luck. Yeah. Yeah, see you again sometime later. Uh. Okay. Okay. Okay, so he has a mix of ranged and melee attacks. And yeah, those are just leaving behind pools of acid. So it's going to be annoying to dodge. He, he looks like a mix between a anglerfish and a fleshy plant. And he did squid. try to lure us in. Yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah. I had to eat. We get time. A, a lot of bonus points for creativity on this one. Yeah, they could have gone the easy way with Lost as well. And he is being the toughest so far. Uh, let's see. This might help. If we can not get hit, that is. And there we get caught by the freaking acid again. Okay. Uh, update driver, not the uh, driver update, not the time for this. Piss off. That's, that keeps interrupting some of the streams for some reason, like... Uh. You should be able to tell the driver when you want it updated. So you can, should be able to time it to not do it during, during streams. Uh, it's not. It's uh, a program that is uh, that checks if all of my drivers are up to... Uh, <clears throat> are uh, up to date. Uh, but yeah, I could, I should look into giving that a mute somewhere. Take your time. We're taking one of these with us. So that even if we lose all of our health again, we at least keep going from there. Yeah. Again, I wonder, wait, how much souls did we enter here to, at first with? Uh, so, uh, around a thousand or something. Get them record for normally have them floating about. It must be. I'm guessing the arena is likely going to change in some way. Then the, the floor is likely going to collapse or something. So they, it's parked somewhere downstairs or some. Okay, going to try and concentrate all of these in an area. He spit three times. Yep. Come on. I... Is there a way to clean that up? Because if he keeps doing it, it's just going to fill the entire arena. Come on. In this case, we want to use the Havoc form. No, oh, come on. You didn't even get time to retreat from that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, it looked for a moment like uh, we lose charge of this, we lose some of our uh, charge of that form when we get hit. Yeah, go it, again with this. You, you hit a lot for using it, but did you really you do any damage to him? Mm, not much. At the very, come on! Uh. 
Like this guy has tells I'm not seeing them. Uh, here we go again with this. Yeah, he's going to end up filling the entire arena with that. Okay, that one is a big tell, because it's a big attack. And then he repeats. Are we supposed to break those or something? Okay, if we stay... Oh! Of course, we are weighed down by this. We're, we are weighed down with the force power, so he can't uh, pull us in. Wait. Oh, I think you want to hit him with a hammer as well. When you can. Yeah. Nope. Oh, oh, come on. This room isn't a... This room isn't a square, it's a rectangle. I get the feeling we might... If we get too close there, he's probably going to swallow us. Oh. Okay, yeah, this is getting annoying that those pools aren't vanishing. Hmm. Yeah, at least we're learning what to do. Oh. Yeah, I think the hammer did more damage. Heal up. Uh, yeah, that can still get us too close for that. Okay, is... Wait, there's... Oh, okay, so they are vanishing, but they, it takes a frick... It lakes... Uh, lakes... It takes a long time. Okay, so yeah, we, we should try and concentrate all of the bile in one area. Okay, just chip damage like Wait, this. What? Consumption is my holy mistress. I will sacrifice you to her. Oh, hello. Yeah. Oh. Okay, like I predicted. And okay, okay, so it was that was the rest of him. Uh, now then, how do we do this? Not like that. Getting instantly rammed. Okay. What are you going to try now, Fatso? Is he the battle? That's his mount. Okay, we can't hurt those. No, I... I know what we can do with that. Uh-oh. Oh. And you're, uh, oh, come on. Oh, okay, he's adapting. He's spitting it out now as well. But yeah, we need to lure him into biting the bombs. Uh, okay, that actually missed. <laughs> okay. Spicy. <laughs> That's a spicy meatball. Oh. Almost. I almost. I don't think he liked our yolk. Nah. Yeah, he definitely didn't. But Did he's he going just... to be the butt of it. Did he just do a pistol shrimp trick? No, he just whipped us. Then again, it is causing the, the speed at which he's doing it 
is causing a bit of a similar effect. Okay, here we go. Nope. Yep. Okay, I thought he was going to inhale again, but... This is actually much easier like this. I say as I get whipped again. Whipping is our, is our stick. Do I need to get in close or something for you to try it again? Nope. Or are you smart enough to not fall for the same trick again? Come on. Come on. It's a... Do I just need to be out of his range then? Hmm. Come on. Okay, it feels like there's a little bit missing here. Hmm. He should have gone back. He should have tried it again now. But now he's he's just cycling between this. Is there something else that we need to do? There. Okay, we need to get close. There we go. And that, that. Why did it? Why did it get stuck there? Okay. That's lunge. And that's a miss. I don't think we want to know what happens if we get caught by that. It's the whip. Come on, dumbass. Okay. No, bit of an error. Yeah, okay, there. I know there's stop hitting yourself, but that was a bit of a more brutal version. No, oh. <laughs> come on, not even once. <laughs> uh, that achievement eats your heart out. <laughs> That's so mean. Yep, here we go again. <laughs> Doctor Strange is calling. I actually saw that uh, last week for the first time. Awesome Good movie. movie. There are so few surprises <laughs> left in the world. Isn't that sad? At the moment, I've had enough surprises. You sound. Odd. Is something wrong? <clears throat> Take this. The stasis hollow. Why? Question my gift. I question your motives. Why does the Lord of Hollows continue to weaponize one of the four horsemen? For what purpose? Remain on your path. In time. Perhaps you will find your truth. That would be a fine surprise indeed. And in the meantime, more toys for me to play with? Horseman, in our next encounter, only one of us will survive. Cryptic. Harley. You help me, then you threaten me? Be gone. He's dying. Is he sacrificing his own powers for this? Why? Curious. Then again, he is like... I, I'm guessing he might be stuck wherever he is. He, If he can open portals, he could have left at any time. And yeah, stasis hollowed, or otherwise the ice power. Let's see, same as always. Attacks with it. And... Okay, we can't do it right here. Lumis visits. Okay, that's another skill point. Now, yeah. where... Wait, he's realized. Where's our souls? Hmm. Not... There they are. Oh, <laughs> fuck! 
Uh, I guess you were, you were right. Just, they didn't appear where we expect them to appear. Yeah, and I was expecting them to get dropped down there, but uh, it seems that they were dropped closer to Volgrim. Just rush past these. Okay. Uh, that. Did you just... There we go. <laughs> okay, we, we've said it plenty of times, but this game has a bit less polish than the others. Or at least it seems to be a bit less polished. Could be that the others had flaws like this as well, and that we just didn't run into them. Yeah, the, we, we did play the remasters. True. Tales of brave fury have reached Targon's ears. He desires an audience. Targon? Then go perform for him. You're entertaining, in a lowbrow sort of way. But I'm not the mightiest horseman in all the realm, you fiery flatterer. Oh yeah, yeah Targon wanted you to... Yeah, yeah, that. That's the Targon. What would you ask I think we should visit it sometime. Okay, uh, we have nothing to add there. Oh yeah, yep. did you pick up the souls? Not yet, that's what I was going around for. And of course we have the next armor with the same stats, but for double the price again. As you wish. Probably okay, in yeah. part because uh, the farther we go, the easier it is to get souls. Uh, yes, do it. It, it feels still feels a bit uh, ex extremely expensive. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to ignore this bunch. Oh, hello, there's souls up there. Bye-bye, yep. boys. Also, we, we had stasis equipped there, so it, the game swapped us to the Flame Hollow. Okay, just for that line. Okay. I don't want to... Wait. What weapon do we get for stasis? My rope. Oh. Ambush. Oh, help. Okay. Dual sword. Piss off. Yep. Don't send us back down. No. Maybe if I dodge forwards. Okay. Twin blades. Okay, wait, what, what are they called? I, wait. You can turn them into different variants. Edge of Scorn. Scorn becomes a perfectly balanced broadsword capable of splitting into two blades at will while the stasis hollow is active. The sword cuts through time and space, injuring opponents on all planes of existence with a range of different attacks. Okay, so basically it's a Vorpal Greatsword. Wait, Vorpal... Are you telling me she became Alice? <laughs> uh, well, she certainly has a disposition similar to a certain version of that character. Uh, come on. Is finally a new game will come out? Yep. Yes, this is a new Alice game coming out. Of yep, the one this... everyone loves. Yep. You, wait, you, you died to trash mobs? Uh, trash mobs, I wouldn't call them. That would be dying to the freaking spider, as uh, to the small spiders. Ah, uh, well. At least yeah, nothing now lost. Yeah, several souls to pick up. Uh, these will just give up if we get far enough away. I like that Fury isn't is isn't mobile enough to uh, fully run through everything. It, it can be uh, can be a bit annoying. Actually, I, I once again forget we have to freaking sprint. Though that doesn't speed her up enough to get past these unharmed. Yep. <laughs> okay, she just throws it <laughs> during the special or during the counter. 
All right. Hi. Have a beautiful time. I was a bit wasteful with that one, but oh well. There we have some souls. Wait, there was only 120. Pretty sure we had some more than that. And there was the, the cluster floating around here. Yeah. Are we back on balanced? No, we aren't. Okay. Huh. It seems that we did lose some uh, one cluster of souls then. But that Unless didn't happen before. Fell down? Unless it's on another cliff. But the one you picked up should not be seen from below. Hmm. Yeah, For the it, one we saw from below. Here, I think. Yeah, okay. Uh, what? Oh, oh, wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, look at the soul count. We did pick. Oh, I'm guessing what we died so close to it that they merged. I'm thinking. Where the, uh, the souls yeah. weren't collected yet when I read out the 120. All oh, right, true, and they do uh, collect into a bigger one. Yep. This, okay. is, a, this is a fair system, as we say. Uh, hello. Uh, how's it hanging? Well, just fine. Ah! Hmm. Let's see, what will <laughs> Stasis specifically do with this? Not much, actually. I was expecting them to... It, it looked like they... It, it looks like they get frostbite for a bit, but it goes away almost as soon as it arrives. It, hmm. it looks like they, they got slowed down. Yeah, but for only like half a second or something. But, wait, Oop. as soon as you hit them, it they may slow them yeah. down. What the? Yeah, it is ice. This is new. This is good. <laughs> you seem distracted, mistress. That Lord of Hollows is vexing. That's one word for it. Only one will survive. Do you think he's helped us this far only to betray me? I'm sure I don't know. Relationships between the Eternal Ones are as confusing and convoluted as they come. I can't keep track. Oh, you're a great help. Perhaps the Lord of Hollows is attempting to manipulate you in some way. Rattle you. Or he's gone utterly insane like the rest of his stinking world. He wasn't looking his best, was he? No, he certainly was not. Enough. Time to focus on the mission. <laughs> if you say so, mistress. I do like that they actually have her lips moving during these bits. Like a mini games yeah. were just, uh, yeah, not. Okay, it stays frozen for a bit. That's nice. Very nice. It probably is meant. Oh dear, I think we might see puzzles that uh, requires that. Yep. It's... And also. It... I only now start to realize uh, it might be concerning with her calling her mistress so much. Yeah, if the stage hollow equipped, Fury is able to walk on the surface of water. Yeah, and with that people I mean, well, she, the watcher keeps on calling her mistress, and uh, yeah, Fury is the one with the whip. <laughs> uh, I don't think I need to explain to not more. Get her head <laughs> cut off. <laughs> <laughs> I think she calls her more that uh, I knew you were cold, but walking on water is a new trick. <laughs> True, do she did request uh, Watcher to call her mistress. Or yeah. she actually liked uh, to be called that dude. It, if it says I don't realize that it sort of that I guess she does look like a dominatrix in some ways. One that will kill. Oh, hello there. 
little hidey hole. That. Now, there is something up there, but we can't reach that. So we'll just have to keep going up this way. Uh, I'm not seeing us. Yeah, I'm, okay. Yeah, we need to swing across. Now, start with this. Freeze the water. And then we use our double jump. Okay. Mixing the powers around a bit. Okay. Itchy nose for a second. You want me to scratch it with the garden hole? <laughs> no. <laughs> Back in the water. Okay, yeah, that's supposed to mean they are supposed to be in the water then. Yeah, with how easily they move around in there, that's very obvious. Okay. Is this going to be the way forwards? Or is this leading to extra? <laughs> okay, <laughs> you need to bring the hammer down on this guy. Thank you. Wolfgang is going to be happy with that. And yeah, from the looks of it, that is the way forward, so this must lead to extras. And extras are good. Or this is leading back somewhere. Nope. Nope, it's extras. And a dead angel. Okay. And a shortcut, from the looks of it. Here we go. Where is this exactly? Oh, there. there. Okay, with those, those jackasses. <laughs> Mincing Wait, my words I, a little bit. I think I realize why she not touching the handle so things you want to open. Yeah, too yeah, afraid she is going to snap it. But beside that, this was my first video, but I also realized in case if it's there's a trap on it, like a curse or something. Okay, makes like, it. I think, we, oh. I I think we can. Oh dear. I think we can agree that the putting a trap on a handle, like you grab it and you get sapped, is not beyond a demon's uh, trick. Yeah, it would be a probably a bit of a low trick for them that they probably look down on, but yeah, they would still try it. <laughs> Okay. And it would definitely be a trick that will alert them if someone is trying to pull a switch. Okay, taking a quick look back in case there's anything under the water here. No, oh, yes, there is. Um, uh, you may not want. Um, yeah, there we go. And nothing else. Okay. Now, if we jump out, of, I should swap back to a power that doesn't weigh us down. If we jump up, yep. <laughs> okay, that is nice. And we can just hop up and uh, stand on it. <laughs> In some Ooh, games, you would have to climb out of the water entirely. Yeah. Let's see, that's too high. Bloody Herculean. Hmm? For a moment, I thought you were to fall down and die. <laughs> okay, this makes traversing a hell of a lot easier. I'm not sure if we've been here before. Okay. Now this looks new. And why is this block here? Can we? Ah, that's why. Okay, for a moment I thought, why is this here? But <laughs> it was just blocking off. I'm um, guessing a shortcut. Or is this the way forwards? Uh, Good question. Okay. Uh, it's just a small shortcut. 
Smaller than There's the usual the... ones, actually. I sort of realize now, we still have new map. Yep. Hmm. It is still an annoyance. Just thinking there was a bigger gap than that. Another angelic artifact. Yeah, we really need to go see Ulthane. And this bit, this works, the light blue and purple. Then again, the purple works with basically anything. Purple is favorite color, people. <laughs> Get <Yeah>. used to it. <laughs> oh dear. And now we have to trudge through this sludge again. Okay, at least they're not immune to fire damage, it seems. Oop. It's a giant annoyance to get through in the first place. Wait, I swear... Is this... Stasis Hollow the weakness of Roth? Hmm. Could be. We haven't really had anything with uh, elemental weaknesses so far, and why aren't you jumping? Well, Glottis seem to take a bit extra damage from the hammer, but then again, you also needed the... the purple hollow uh, to make sure you did you a hold it so, you know, swallow. Yeah, uh, and we do have the hammer people. suit, the hammer suit equipped. Okay, why yeah, are you not jumping? The heck? It's, it's hard to say that without that sounding... Yeah, something like it would be, can, can be taken out of context. There we go. We just storm our way over. Up, ow, 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 ow. Okay. We need a bit more height for that. Wait, wait, can you just jump? Nope, I'm trying, I'm pressing the jump button here, but no. Apparently this lava is just a bit thicker or something. Um... I can't remember if we could jump in lava earlier. But yeah. It has been a while since we had to trudge through lava, or at least try to jump in it. How are I wonder what happened. Feeling, mistress. There is much to process. I've had to abandon so much in order to move forward. It feels like a loss. And at the same time, I've changed. Changed how? I... I do not know. Okay. So she's at least moving forward. And we know this place. We've been here before. And got bamboozled by that stupid uh, <laughs> switch on the wall there. Oh, so our next fight is the Roth, ain't it? Uh, he is the only one left besides Pride, I think. Sure, we defeated him in a fight, but we didn't get a chance to catch him. Uh, it was more that we stunned him, I'd say. Uh. Yeah. The Counter is stunned by having a blade shoved up to his face is a interesting statement. <laughs> uh, it would be interesting if we just walk in there and we find him dead on the ground. Then again, we already passed through where we fought him. And we still have our own dying shard still. Uh, we've already read the text of that, but let's take a look through the text of these other ones. Small All shapes right. dart back and forth on the shard's surface faster than most eyes can see. Most eyes, yeah, most eyes can see. Uh, temporary improves attack speed. Okay, I, I thought it was this would fill the the wrath bar, but no, that's already one up here for that. Okay. The imprisoned essence of a time spirit is incredibly powerful and is capable of warping the fabric of time around it when activated. Some say the time spirits are a race of old ones who re remain mostly uninvolved in the affairs of the three kingdoms. We still have to meet this Jemira. 
Thorn shirt, emitting a low comforting hum that only the user can hear. Creates a piercing aura which reflects a portion of any incoming damage back at the attacker. Okay, so typically what thorns means in uh, RPGs. The creation of the angel Fenuel, who distilled his divine judgment into a shard. Intended only for the angels tasked with storming the gates of the Dark Kingdom, these shards were scattered when Fenuel was attacked by Hedramon. Overcome with grief over the demise of his you know, beloved Rachel, Fenuel's fate is unknown. Okay. I, I like that they're also putting bits of lore in the descriptions of items, again, similar to Dark Souls. Yeah, they've been doing that in almost all games, haven't they? <laughs> yeah. A sturdy looking shard, its surface highly reflective, very difficult to break. Still, a burst of resilience, reducing incoming damage for a short time. Okay, these are these are these are going to be useful, but it's going to be annoying that they are all on the same you know, cooldown. It seems frequently used by soldiers on the front lines of the most brutal skirmishes, allowing them to keep fighting against overwhelming odds. These shards are not uh, without their disadvantages. Repeated use often leads to a full numbing of the body, making it impossible for a warrior to know their limits. Arcane energy crackles throughout the shard, increases the power of arcane abilities. Rumored to have been created by the demon prince Samuel to restore the power of his defeated enemies. Uh, perhaps he would use it um, to fuel his dark rituals. One uh, should take caution of their repeated use. Okay, Samuel up to shit again. This shard radiates power and draws energy from the soul of the one that consumes it. Converts strength of will into offensive might. This shard is largely dependent on the one who uses it, as it, its effect is determined by the strength of one's soul. Uh, <clears throat> those who are weak-wheeled find themselves uh, you know, receiving little benefit, and for those absent the soul, the shard's consumption is not advised. Okay. There's also a bit of a face hidden in that thing. Or at least yeah. two eyes. So I wonder, is this one of those who need to have the... A undead should not tamper with, like a Probably. skeleton. Or, but well, depend. Depend. Uh, the skeleton might be uh. move around, but they still have the soul on. Okay. Something is annoying at the edge of my mouth, but not too much. Let's see. Havoc shard contains within it a raging storm of tor turmoil. Fuels the inner flame needed to activate havoc form. The remnant of an angel's soul, deeply damaged and corrupted from demonic possession. Havoc shards became more common the longer the war raged on. As the constitution of heaven's armies weakened, possession became that much easier. Wrath shard. The rage becomes a turbulent, uh, tumultuous roar, shaking the very foundations of the user's being. Reserved for the Dark Kingdom's commanders, this shard's energy is all-encompassing, altering those who use them to their very core. They become more than simply Hellspawn. They become something else entirely. Alright. And then we get to the healing shards. Pain melts away and the, world and the world appears clearer than it's ever been. Desperate, obsessed with perfecting his miracle, Raphael did the unthinkable. Separating a small part of his angelic soul, he combined it with each element he had tried thus far. The resulting shard and the healing it provided were quite powerful. But Raphael was irreparably, dam irreparably damaged. By the time Heaven had been provided enough shards to fill its need, he had gone mad and vanished from White City. Yeah. Oh. Con continuing his important work as Hell grew stronger and Heaven's army began uh, to stumble, Raphael took a new approach. Dipping into the Well of Souls, he removed a sampling of the spirits contained within and combined their essence with that of the Life Force strand. The results were more potent, but Raphael was not satisfied. As was his nature, the Archangel Raphael worked diligently to find new ways of performing healing miracles. In these shards, he wove a strand of the life force that powered creation, so that you know, any who possessed it might be healed. However, a strand wasn't nearly enough for Heaven's need during the war. Yeah. Healer, heal thyself. Hmm. If we'd read those out earlier, we would have got them in chronological order, but oh well. Oh, come on! 
Two of these. Hmm. Well, he has not oh. noticing you, so... Uh, oh, those two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a big pixel eight, as I thought, oh, two archers? Then I looked up further and wrote myself, oh. Okay, we'll try and deal with them one at a time. Oh, okay, just normal attacks on their sheet. Normal hammer attacks on their shields breaks their guard for a bit. Yeah, that makes, a, that makes things a hell of a lot easier, I say, as I get beaten into a wall. It also means the hammer has a lot of uses. Yeah. This it's only a good thing to keep it equipped. Yeah, no, it should also mean we may want to uh, upgrade it and such. Uh, yeah, we'll have Actually, to find all things quick then. Yeah, for we we have not been upgrading weapons, I think. Okay, that was okay. That was a lot, almost six thousand. Nice. I don't think we died here before, so where did that come from? Or actually, no, that was that couldn't have been that. We we fell down this before, but that didn't kill us. Okay. Oh, hello. It might. They sometimes uh, appear some random ones as well, for they're not only from when you die. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Yeah. Again. Next time we find the uh, Volgrim, we should probably upgrade our other weapons beside the main one, just to make the yeah. other weapons as well extra useful. And that's exactly why I'm going back to him here. Oh. Okay. Let's see. We are at the Molten Cave. Know where we need to go back to. And again, it does show the last place that. The, yeah, the last area we used uh, the <clears throat> the serpent holds from before. Okay, do we get any upgrades from all of the humans that we've been sending back as well? And still no progress on whatever the hell this is supposed to be. Oh come on, you don't see what it is. A very big ashtray. It's a bathtub. And why is one I, I, side I open? <laughs> I, I do think it's supposed to be something. Okay. Wait, hold on. No, no, no. Not only that. Pieces, that. pieces of adamantine sliver. Oh, other right. material. Let's see. Havoc or evade invisibility window. Hmm. Let's see. We haven't used... We've been using this one. At, this one is on no, yeah, Scorn's normal form, I think. Uh, or was it this one? Either way... Actually... Hmm. Lurches when breaking objects. Health regenerated. Health... The health regeneration hasn't actually been helping that much. Let's see how... Oh, okay, that's a bit of a, a boost. Oh, wait, it was, all, it was on this one. Still, it hasn't ha helped too much. Hmm. If per minute as well. Yeah. And again, this... However, this you've one would be... Help a lot. If we upgrade it to this... Yeah, we let's see. We have enough to upgrade it to here at the least, not to this. Oh, hello. Essence of a chosen. The hell is that? Okay, it seems that to finish it in the balanced, uh, to make it a balanced one, we need to actually use the opposite artifact. Of the one we've been upgrading it with. That is interesting. Nice. And it upgrade. Wait. Oh. It adds the f these upgrades as well. And you can you can look. Uh, look at the uh, yeah, look at the edge of the uh, 
<clears throat> of the yeah, icon. We go here, we get an angel, uh, a helmet with wings. But if we go here, we get a skull at the top with bat wings. But at the end, it has both. Okay. Um, let's see. Havoc is very powerful. So I say we put this on the hammer then. Let's evade. Okay. It, yeah, it makes more sense that the demonic artifacts would help the offensive aspect of it. Uh, let's save enough of these to still have enough to finish off the Leviathan. Yeah, for mm. I think the people probably I think the transduration is working. Problem is, you may have upgraded your health so high that the Leviathan was a bit uh, too weak to keep up. True. Okay. Angelic Leviathan, Angelic Marauder. Okay. And this one has Obscurus. And let's... And we put Wrath on that one. Okay, let's actually swap that out for Havoc. And... Yeah, that has definitely the most damage, 102. This one comes close with the uh, upgrade to it. Uh, but of course, the main one is going to be the strongest of them all. Okay, most that should make... Been... I was going to say, most because you've been upgrading it so much. Yeah, <laughs> which makes sense. Your, your starter weapon, or well, your basic weapon, is the smart thing to upgrade the most, since you'll be using it the most. And have we spoken? Or... Many sins have fallen in your hands. Okay, yeah, we've tried to speak, but they don't seem to be in interested too much. <laughs> it's been some time, horseman. I would have died out there if it wasn't for you. <laughs> Still curious about what the hell this is going to be. He's taking his sweet ass time with it, at least. <laughs> Okay. Still going to need to look at uh, maybe upgrading my CPU at some point. Then again, I'll, I'll have to see if I can actually do that without trying, without interfering with the coolant system. Because if I, I'm, I think I've said this before, but I, I am not going to try and remove a water cooling system inside of my computer myself. Yeah, just to replace the uh, CPU. So, yeah. When I get to you know, upgrading the CPU, so to speak, I might, it might be better of me to just buy a completely new computer to be safe that I don't destroy everything that I already have in it. Yeah. It is the computer that can be used for something else. True. Oop, what the... Okay, I didn't notice whatever that I was linking up to, uh, targeting. Probably a vase or something. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I'll definitely be... When I will do that, or when I would do that, I'll definitely be putting in a uh, RTX 3000 series app graphics card. Uh, most likely uh, a 3080 Ti, because from what I've been seeing of benchmarks and such and reviews, it actually works better, or not really better, but unshakable fortitude achievements. Okay, random. Uh, from what I've seen, the, the for, what, uh, for what the price difference is between the uh, 3080 Ti and the 3090, it... The, the 90 isn't worth the extra cost for how little extra work it gives. I think mm. my, my object is a 3000 or something. Okay, then, then I'm behind because this is a 2060 Super. Yeah, if, I'm not sure. I don't know that when my brother, the, the, your little brother, helped me to buy this com com computer, he was Bit speaking for out the uh, very good ones 
<laughs> that was a bit of a bad idea to try and do that with a rock. <laughs> uh, trying to reenact the golem scene. Oh, oh hello. I look just as surprised as you. Oh. Yeah. From what I can see on the side with task minutes, because I have I do have that open outside you know, next to the game, it is the CPU that is the choke point at the moment for the performance, because it's running at 100%, whilst the graphics card is only about 75-80%. Okay. But, yeah. Again, I I do I am not going to trust myself to be able to replace uh, my CPU with something else without absolutely destroying everything through water damage. Yeah. Do has to be this be happening only with this game or other games as well? Uh, it is it is in part that we also have to run OBS, uh, Discord streaming, and uh, VC face. Uh, that is also eating up into the... <clears throat> that's also eating up... Oh, loading. Yep. That's also eating up into the processor's uh, power. Uh, so it, still, if we upgrade it, we, we'd be able to uh, stream games at a higher graphics quality. Like we saw on Sunday with uh, Vermintide. I can run that game... Oh, hello. Uh, we know how to fix that. I can run that game on the high to extreme graphics, but for the string we have to lower them to medium to get them at a recent, uh, decent frame rate. Then again, I think I was talking about how the, the CPU seemed to be acting up a bit then. So. Yeah, so it has been has it been behaving since then? Yeah. Uh, all right. We so were, no, 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 no. We were having stutters during this, during the last stream of this game. That's what was going on. Oh, oh yeah. And it hasn't stuttered so far. And I haven't, I haven't changed, <clears throat> I haven't changed anything in the game. At least I have changed the background on the overlay to well not be a black void and to be a little bit more fitting, even for how little of an, you nope, know, a difference that makes. And that was stupid of me. <laughs> Down, boy! Down! That's it, down! <laughs> so, yeah. Whatever... Uh, whatever made the difference uh, got cleaned out. Hmm. Oh, dear. I I'll have to look at how much a new computer would cost with a better graphics card and CPU. I know at the moment the the, the 3080 Ti, <laughs> pardon, the 3080 Ti in the graphics cards that I've seen at a local retailer have been about uh, 1400 just for the graphics cards. Uh, so yeah, I'll have to I'll have to run things through a PC builder or just look through the the ready to sell or ready to use computers on sale. For how much that would cost. And we're back here. Okay, it, we could have got... We wouldn't have needed to, uh, to use the serpent holes to get back here. Hmm. Yep. Where are you pointing us, compass? Wait, it's red at this time. Yeah. I, so far, I think... it seems to be... Uh, sorry, go on. Yeah, it seems to be that the sins are color coded. Yeah, I was just to say that where you comment you said that before and it's red. <laughs> so this is definitely going to be wrath. Yeah, for I think all the time all the time it has been red has been for wrath. Hmm. That does bring up a little something because we were told that the compass would show the other sins as that weren't the closest as colored dots, but Pride's is completely missing. Even though we know in what direction they are. Yeah, no, she she did use a portal. True, but even then the compass still pointed to the portal. And it ha hmm. it's been for a bit that the other sins didn't show up on the compass either. 
Could be just a small oversight. Could be a small glitch. Either way, we're moving on towards Wrath anyways. And still have a decent amount of time. We still no, haven't it... learned who the hell killed Rampage. Yeah. And also... Fight between Wrath and Fury does sound... Uh... Pretty metal. Yeah. There we go. We couldn't open this before. There is something familiar about this place. One of the sins is nearby. He and I have unfinished business. Wrath is here. Not for long. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was either him or Pride, and Pride has Pride has locked themselves in their dressing room. Yeah. And Why? What? The... Why the hell are they mining? I get the feeling. I, once I what? trigger one of these, they're all going to start jumping on. And yeah. wait, what the heck is that? Hmm? That and looks new. The one with the staff, or what the heck that is? Yeah, that, those, <laughs> those wings look a, a bit inverted. Wait, are those Samayan servants? But so far, only Samayan servants have those wings, uh, I think. Could be, yeah. And, oh. Okay, seems that, yeah, they, these guys aren't going to bother us unless we're going to bother them. Hmm. Why the hell are they building stuff? Rather, why the hell are they, they trying to be industrial here, for some reason? Maybe they're gathering something for something else here. Hmm. Like, it might be a quarry. Yeah, we'll just have to see. For now... Oh. For some reason, I have automatically ducked. <laughs> yeah, that, that is human instinct when something is coming at high speeds. There we go. Hmm. Somehow... He's a pretty wrathful character, so it would make sense that his al his minions would ally themselves with wrath. And that was about 7k of souls in that thing. Ooh. If we break a bunch of the ones that we're carrying around, we should have enough for the armor. And... Okay, for a moment I thought it w the text was saying... That we could spot a punt and kick this guy into this, but no. Ooh. Yeah, do not want. Hopefully this takes longer than it does on enemies. Oop. <laughs> Timing! Hilly, Hilly, Hillian. Captain Hillian. What are we to do with you? Uh, endure. And tolerate. And punish. And at some point, our our flask has also been upgraded again, it seems, to four total this time. And Do we now, get... I think we can just Does it? run. Did we get upgraded for each hollow? Hmm. Now we... If that was the case, then we would have had five now. I th Actually, no, we... I think... I think we started out with hollow. two charges. Maybe for every two hollows we got one extra. <laughs> we weren't really keeping attention of when they uh, upgraded. <laughs> Achievement Soul Harvester. Must have... Yeah, that's probably for getting a certain amount of lurchers. And this time, let's not waste time. Hello. Yeah, th those things have been all over the place for the, the fire ones, the rap, the force ones, and the hell. Oh, dear, you are bigger bugs. Well, uh, not sure if we see. 
Like more crabs? Yeah, those are crabs. Uh, let's give them a reason to be crabby then. Okay, I didn't mean to do that, but <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. Gesundheit. Uh, thank you. Hmm. Oh, I miss the days where one basically does not feel like they're hurling themselves to the floor just for sneezing. Go. I get the feeling we're going to walk into a cutscene at any second in this place. Let's see. This is shallow. Yep. I think we've got enough souls at the moment to not need to bother with each and every enemy. That would twist this thing. There's nothing there. Okay, I see. Simple enough. We go here. Give that a whack. And then it's going to pop up here. <laughs> or is it? Okay. Oh, well, yeah. that, that is that is low enough to jump on, I think. No, ac actually, no. <laughs> oh, what the? Um, okay. Apparently, this is oil. I was thinking it was water. Oh, hold on. We're mixing up the powers again here. Because it's it's talking about the stasis hollow. So if we do this, it stops. Okay. And just keeps going. Okay, so it's, it's not exactly ice, because if it was ice, it would have just stopped there and not you know, kept moving. One power again. And too early. Actually, can we still... No, we wouldn't reach it at all. And too late now. Okay, going... To... Why? <laughs> I keep going back to the flame power. Okay. There we go. Or not. Surprise! That... Okay, the uh, timing on that is going to be a bit annoying. Yep. Okay. Um, surprised? I thought you walking over there on oil with the uh, flame hollow active would, uh, you know, burn the oil. No, we aren't, we aren't move. We don't have a freezing, a fire step like we have with the stasis hollow here. Wrong power yet again. Okay, gotta get the timing down. Is that good enough? Yes, it is. Okay. Let's hope there's not too many more of those puzzles. <laughs> And leave those to be angry at themselves. Can we... No, that's too high, I think. Wait, is this... Yes, it is water. Okay. For a moment I thought, was this another big-ass pile of oil? Pile? Puddle? <laughs> and again, oil can be thick enough to be piled up. Let's see. Oh, hello. That looks a bit uh, familiar. We fought uh -oh. these before. As both war and death, I think.
Holy sh... No, I, I think they were only in the first game. Hmm. Now, either way, we've seen uh, the Wolverine demons like this before. Oh, yeah. And the other demons around just do not care. <laughs> I guess they didn't like him. Yeah, demons like nobody. Oh, okay, that's a big ass drill. Well, we've seen them. We've seen them work with drills before. In the Deadlands. Oh no! I've no, just had a mental man. image. Oh, for what mm -hmm. you said. You, you said demons like nobody. Yeah. What would you ask of this humble merchant? I just imagine now demons marry each other out of spite. <laughs> Married with demons. Yeah, ma demon marriage. You only marry each, uh, another demon if you absolutely hate each other. <laughs> All right, let's see. That heals for 375, which is about a max health. I definitely popped it a lot earlier than would need would be needed to re to, uh, to get the full amount of that. Um, let's see. I haven't looked through this much. Yeah, then again, the, these move lists aren't too long. If you separate them into aerial and <clears throat> ground based, let's see. What's that rip cord? Oh, okay, that's what that <laughs> rip. Actually, we've managed to pull it off a few times in the early streams. Yeah, the death is a range attack. Let's see. For now, though, let's actually break. Let's actually break a few of these crystals and get the armor just to have it, and then spend the rest on some level ups. With Thirty of those, yeah, definitely more than enough. And that's a, a skill point all its own. Your attribute point, skill point. What it's a point we've put in something. Little point. Take your time. I don't dish. Okay. I get I get the feeling there's probably going to be one more armor that gives a, a boost to every one of the elements. I hope so. Hmm. If there is that then one we should just wait with the, for that one to begin with, unless you need to buy every other ones first. Hmm. Yeah. There we go. Quite a few level ups. This is going to make things a lot easier. <laughs> Actually, pro things probably would have been a lot easier if we'd done this throughout the game so far at every point that we found him. <laughs> Very much likely. Besides the... <clears throat> besides the armor, three and, well, maybe a resurrection shard or two, we don't really have too much use for these souls. And let's actually upgrade this a bit as well. Yeah, so we can... So we have a reason to start using the arcane uh, stuff as well. Yeah, we've been using it all the same for <laughs> achievements, 25 to life. We're upgrading our health to a certain point, I presume. And we could use the another upgrade to our flask. And that is 5,000, so we'll just shatter one of these. And there we go. I knew you couldn't resist. Another achievement, maximum vigor. Okay, so that's the most that we can upgrade it then, I presume. All right. Um, hmm. 
Okay, that leads to Wrath, so this must lead to goodies. Yep, and a big-ass pit. <laughs> okay. Time. Wait, why did you break out of that? Okay. Yeah. And that puts us... Up. Oh, for a moment I thought we were locked in, but no. All right, Thankfully, then. We're not Moving on. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Oop. Hello. Oh! Oh, and he must be a taskmaster of some sorts. Ow. A demon champion? Okay, just go ahead and waste your time with that. <laughs> oh, oh, well, that's actually, that actually had an effect. Okay. Boom. Hmm. Maybe I should... I could try using the Havoc for more during normal combat. But then we... Actually, we have... We have shards. We have a lot of shards that free fuel it. So I could just use Havoc mode or Havoc form, whatever the word was again, a lot more during normal combat. Than yes, in most cases, these guys. Yeah. In most cases, it would be overkill, but stone walls like that, yeah, that I would use it on them. Yeah, and let's be honest. You've been very stingy with them in all the yep. games. Especially in the, in the second game, but I think you, I think, yeah, I think you yeah. almost never used in the second game, except for some yeah. cutscenes. Yeah, I did use it a few times, but yeah, not a lot, not enough times to recall them and to actively recall them at least. Okay. Yeah, you used you used wars more compared to him. Yeah, I've definitely used it the most out of the three games here now. I keep swapping to the wrong powers. Yeah. A friend I had to play this on my PS3, or by the first game, he used it way more than you. And again, it seems that it's, it doesn't take too much for to refuel it. True. Okay. I probably could have used it there, but oh well. Uh, isn't that one of the things that a lot of gamers have, that they just hoard stuff uh, for until uh, for when they would need it, only that that point never comes, so they end the game with like a million potions and shots. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh There we go. Hmm. They're definitely up to hmm. something with all of this. Yeah, but I think they're looking for ore. But uh, they had stone grinders after all. We should probably make it easier to find metal. Yep. Hello. Okay, no burst out of the ground attack thing. <laughs> okay, typically when something burrows and up, oh, there we go. It, yeah, like I was going to say, typically when something burrows through the ground like that, it's going to try and burst up underneath you. Okay. No more, no more. Okay, you're lucky to be alive. An achievement crowdsource. Okay. 
Probably for getting like being... 10, 15 humans. Yeah. I suspect the DM has been keeping him as a entertainment. Yeah, it did so he did sound like uh, he they were playing with him. In a very unpleasant manner, like throwing stuff at him as such. And I would yeah. not be surprised if being torturing him as well. Okay, do I need to freeze this one or is it just going to stay in its place? Freeze? No, mm. actually, wait, if they had been torturing him, then I think he would be less likely to trust you. <laughs> Yeah. Or yeah, maybe desperate desperate enough to view anything even remotely human looking as a more as a better chance of an ally. Good thing he's over there. Wait again. Friend Ooh. of yours? I doubt it. Rhetorical question. <laughs> no, you have no friends. Though you do have enemies. I don't think it's <laughs> aiming for me, mistress. <laughs> <laughs> we just missed it chucking around. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I neither of these two have many friends. Um, can, I, can I safely move to here? Uh, here. <laughs> hmm. okay. yep, yep, come on. Yep. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go find a safe spot because we are almost out of time. And for once, I'm going to try and remember to actually raid someone else. Oop. Because I keep forgetting that. And I already saw someone who is online who I quite like. Uh, it's... <clears throat> uh... I think I've mentioned them on stream already. I know I've mentioned them to you, Drakir. Uh, it's that uh, Viking blonde. And not I'm not calling him a blonde Viking, but that's literally his username on Twitch, Viking blonde. What was a blonde Oop. Viking? Uh, maybe I'm getting them mixed around again. <laughs> But yeah, they're a, they're a, a nice guy from the short time that I've been watching them. I, yeah. I haven't really watched much. Of, I, I watched uh, many months ago. I think I was a year ago now. I w did try to watch uh, Beamy streams, but yeah. I, I, it seems like I can't watch Twitch until we have better internet. Okay. Issue? And yeah. Offering. Yeah, of course. The, <laughs> the eternal enemy, enemy of anyone who uses the internet. Yeah, like, it, I can say this. YouTube works better. Uh, you, you could also try lowering the quality a bit. That typically oh, tends to help. But, yeah. Just... Bad internet in general is going to make everything harder for that. Yeah. I think it was at least one stream of Bean I did watch that was working smoothly. But only because I was watching it after he had played it. So okay, it was not the, no longer live. Yeah, the VOD. Yeah. So I did watch it on Twitch, the VOD. It was about... Uh, yeah, it was two. Or when hmm. one of the fast forward it was about when one of you accidentally blew each other up. Uh, that must have been Deep Rock then, I'm guessing. Yeah, and it was Deep Rock. <laughs> uh, I have a clip of that uh, still somewhere. And I, I was the one accused of doing that, but I was off, <laughs> I was out of explosives then, I'm pretty sure. Let me guess, you ate the explosive. Yeah, I'm not that hungry. <sighs> well, is... you're willing to eat flamethrower, so... Okay, let's keep on moving on. Uh, oh, yes. gosh. That gave me an idea now. Uh, 
You have heard of sword swallowers? Uh, yeah. Uh, swords. Good. Then we have Hillian the flamethrower swallower. Oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> come on, Fury. I, I was holding the button press there still. Oh, oh well. dear. Um, let's get back to the other side and then end the stream because we are at that time again. Yep. And uh, yeah. Time Another scene down, two to go. Okay, so it's going to be as safe a spot as any. All right. Okay, then. Uh, going to need to start up a browser because using Chatty for, uh, for rating doesn't really work. So there we go. The one that I've been using for all of my streaming stuff. If it will open up. <clears throat> In the meantime, uh, yeah, a good amount of progress, I'd say, there. Uh, oh, yeah. Fury is getting more and more pissed off with whoever is responsible for killing uh, Rampage. So that's definitely not going to end well for whoever is responsible. And yeah, not much on whoever is behind all of this at the moment. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, we still okay. don't know who killed uh, Rampage. Yeah, they used angelic weapons at the very least. And uh, our bell guy didn't really say much. Well, they didn't have any information on it anyways. Yeah, he, he did seem <laughs> to hint that it was not his uh, angels that did it at least. Okay. Nope. I would not be surprised if Pride has her own angels. Uh, not Viking blind, Viking blonde. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, I'm still good progress. It, it could just be because we liked the previous games more that this game one does feel a bit uh, rough here and there. I actually like the music them running. equally. I actually like hey. it equally so far free, though I am trying to uh, not be too judging. Uh, yeah, it, it's only been small stuff, and nothing game-breaking, and the other two games did get another once-over to get more stuff removed like that. Uh, but other than that, it is, it is still a good game. I, as much as I keep bringing up these small things, they are only small bribes. Yeah, and unlike the other two, the other two we had some extra difficult difficulties on their first streams, unlike this yeah. one. Uh, hmm. uh, I like that, I said, this, have, this yeah. one... Oh, sorry, go on. Yeah, you go ahead. I say, this one has way more mysteries. There are so much mysteries that it's hard to speculate. True. And... Uh, yeah, it, it's a bit of the, the style uh, change as well. This one is a lot more open and a lot less linear. Uh, we, I'm not sure we could have gone after the, the sins in a different order. It could have been possible if we looked around more. Uh, but yeah, because it's less linear, it also has less uh, cutscenes and such, like uh, with war and death. I think it's. I think. I think you be getting intrigued. I think it is linear, since some of the bosses would be almost impossible without the correct skills. Yeah, or, or even hollows. getting to them. But yeah, some parts are definitely linear. But I'd have to look up if uh, they are. If it is possible to get them in a different order. Yeah, hmm. for it might be an illusion. The open worldness. Yeah, the open world part isn't an illusion, but more uh, uh, how we can traverse it, in which order. Uh, I mean, the whole uh, open endness that is the illusion is not line linear when it's actually is very linear. True. Hmm. Okay. For now, though, still a good run, still a good game. So, yeah. <clears throat> 
Uh, I'll start up the raid. We should have enough time to finish up before that sets off. Okay. And yeah, one viewer ready that says that all the other names in the list at the moment are likely bots, so I'm going to have to ban those. Uh, if they, if you are not uh, bots, uh, sorry, I, I'm going to double check with a, a bot checker. Uh, but yeah. Uh, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you, Beanie, for staying up late and killing your sleep schedule to have a look for once. Uh, be well. And also, of course, thanks to you, Dirkir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And yeah. We'll be continuing with this, and I don't think we'll be able to finish this game next time, but we'll get very close, I think. At least, very. we'll probably... We'll probably bag Wrath, and then we'll head after Pride. But I get the feeling there's probably going to be more to uh, the game than just the Sins. Yeah, the, the, I think there's a hidden player here. And we still don't know what the King of Hollows' deal is. Yeah, if, if, I wonder if, if it will be about to be going to have to fight him. For now, though... Thanks again, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for lower crabs.